Hi, um, so we're going to go over how to set up your automated emails when people have booked your workshop or um, online session um, and also how to tweak the reminder emails. So to do that, we just go into our scheduling via our website and then scroll down and go to client email. And then you'll have all of these options, which can be a little bit overwhelming, but don't worry. Um, it's actually not so hard. Um, we just need to go through step by step um, and just tweak what we want to be set, set out. So here we have the initial confirmation. So this is the very first email, the automated email that they will get when they book their um, book through the scheduling app. So here we have um, all of these different um, offerings that we do. So you can see that here we can sh have different um, bookings that have a shared email, a booking email. So you can do that. Or if they're very different things, like for example, the free consultation call, um, then you know, it might be very specific, so it will have its own email. So here we can see it's got this email subject, which will be the subject of the email that is sent out. So it has all of this weird code in there, but here you can see the example and it shows that it's basically the type is just the name of the, um, of the workshop or event. And then we have, uh, my name so first and last and then the time and date and then the calendar is the ginkgo tree so you can go in here and just delete things like for example if you don't need your name in there um, but generally speaking you can just leave it as is is fine as well so here you can go in and edit anything in here and again, this code is just their name and their last name. So you can leave all of these things. And here you probably remember from setting up your online Zoom or um, Google Meet um, integration that this code, if, it, if this is a, an online one that I, and I've selected it through the integration, then this location tag will actually turn into their um, video joining link. So that means that they'll have the link to join straight away. And here you can also just give the personalized instructions. So you could say, um, just click on the link. So again, you can just, you can just copy this tag and just say, you know, please click on here, location tag to join the video call. Um, and you can also give some additional comments. So you could say, if you just prefer a phone call, your phone number here, and, and then you can also put your other contact details and they will automatically have these buttons. So that means that they can actually go in and change or cancel the appointment. They can add it to their calendar or their Google calendar. So um, you can, if you don't really, if for some particular reason you don't want them to be changing or cancelling their own appointments, um, which I don't, um, which I don't usually recommend, but you know, every business is different. So you can go in and just delete particular buttons as well. But the beauty of this is that um, if they need to change or cancel, um, in your settings, you can change um, the times that people are allowed to change or cancel. So you could give them 48 hours, for example, or, you know, even less time. Um, and, but that means that if something comes up, then they can just go in here, say uh, they want to change their appointment and then go right back in and choose another time. So that's quite a handy feature. So when you've finished creating your, uh, your automated email, you will just save the template. 
and now that is ready to go. Um, so if you decide that you need to change, so maybe you need to put this particular class into a different confirmation email, then you can actually change it around here as well. Or you can just drag it and drop. So that's just another way you can organize these. Um, and you can also add a new template. So you might not have anything in there. So you will just go in there and then click on the particular appointment that you want to create a new, a special confirmation email for, then click on select. And then it will kind of copy over one of your other templates automatically, which is quite handy usually. So then that means you will just go in and edit that for this particular, for this particular session or workshop. But, um, I will just leave that um, and put it back where it was. Now, and now to go to reminders. So we can set up to three reminder emails. Um, so it can be 24 hours before their event. And you can also add in extra ones to whatever times that you want. And every industry is different. So basically you can base um, your choices on what is basically your industry standard. So generally speaking, you might have one or two email reminders. Um, but occasionally there might actually be three reminders in some industries and for some industries as well, you will also need to set up, particularly in the health industry, you will need to set up um, SMS reminders as well, but we'll get into that later. So here we can see, uh, we can add the time. So maybe it's two hours before their appointment, um, but for, so I know we'll put the two hours and now it means that they will get this one email two out two hours before their appointment. So if we save this and now this is set up, if you want to disable this one, or if you don't want all of these to be sent out, maybe you only want um, a few of them to send out a two hour reminder, then you will just drag it into the inactive type. So we'll just drag this and we only want these particular sessions to have a two hour reminder. So that's that. And now for the 24 hour email reminder, it basically, this is the general email. It's just just a little reminder and you might even just use um, the same kind of thing for most of them as a, just a little reminder to say, yes, we have our appointment in 24 hours. And if you ever decide that you actually don't want a second or third reminder, all you need to do is go to that particular tab and then you will click on disable this reminder and click on OK. And now we only have our 24 hour reminder. And we can also um, edit our, our emails when people cancel. So um, people may cancel an appointment, um, maybe they've changed their mind or uh, whatever it is. So here you can, they get an automated email whenever they cancel an appointment, just to confirm that it has been canceled. So here is actually a good opportunity to prompt people to um, prompt people to uh, reschedule or um, 
you know, prompt them to take another action with you. So this is that. And then when people have rescheduled, they will also get a, another email just to say that it has been successfully rescheduled. And now for follow-ups, you can send uh, an email to people thanking them for attending or reminding them to book another appointment. Um, or you could say, um, now you've done this, um, this is the next step. So this will be a good idea to book this session. So that's a good idea. Um, and then this one is if you have set up your packages or gift certificates, um, so this one you might not be using, but if you are, then this is where we edit this. So packages and gift certificates are when you're going to sell like bundles. So maybe it's 10 class passes for this discounted amount, and then they pay that, and then they get access to book those 10 classes in a discounted amount. So to get, um, um to get um the ability to to do that you need to upgrade your account your scheduling account to the more advanced um, subscription and here is subscription paid again that's a more um that's a more expensive um subscription with squarespace scheduling where you can also get people to subscribe to a certain um uh, offering or workshop and they will um, pay a monthly fee and get access to whatever it is that you give them access to so it might be um, it might be two classes per month or whatever it is and then that again is the subscription cancelled so basically these last three uh, won't be for most people um, but it is a great thing to keep in mind that's why i do um, go through them is um, for some businesses this might make a lot of sense to upgrade and use these particular features so for most people though we will be using just these and the main thing main ones that you will probably use is initial confirmation and reminders so that is how to set up our email for Squarespace scheduling.